Hey guys, going to follow up on our file server video and install the feature called data deduplication. And what data deduplication does is it allows a network share to have multiple copies of the file but only store one copy of them which will free up lots of disk space. This is particularly noticeable when you have a network share with say 1 million files in it and you turn it on you will save a lot of disk space. So I'm going to go to the start menu server manager select manage add roles and features select next select role based and feature based installation select our server from the pool and then I'm going to expand the file and storage services and then expand the file and iSCSI services we're then going to put a checkbox in the data deduplication box select next next install The installation has now succeeded so I will go close and then I will select the file and storage services. Under volumes I'll select disk, scroll down and then under volumes and E I'm going to do a right click and configure data deduplication. I'm then going to enable data deduplication on a, as a general purpose file server and will deduplicate files older than in three days. You have the option here to exclude files. The sort of files that you would like to exclude generally would be stuff like databases and stuff like PST files from Outlook because as a default Outlook would call it archive.pst so you might end up with multiple copies of them. So I would just add PST in this example we'll just add a couple of others as well and we'll have a look at the data deduplication schedule. You can see the first checkbox is the background optimization. This is to run data dedupe when the system is not busy. You can customize these to suit your scenario. I'm just going to leave them as they are and select OK. I'll then hit apply and OK. If I just go back to my test PC and select the file explorer, just so we have a common file, I'm going to go into our media, sources, and grab a boot.wim. I'll then select copy. paste that on the desktop. I'll then put a copy in the manager shared. I'll put a copy in the worker shared. I'll put a copy in the test file. I'll put a copy in test 2. Another one in test three. Oops. And we'll do one more in test four. Okay, we can see that our workers drive has three hundred and ninety nine gigabytes free from four hundred and two. I'll make a second part to this video before I upload it to YouTube and I will check in a few days and see how it looks. I was actually going to wait a few days for this but then I thought I can probably just force it to happen. So I'm just going to go back to our file server and open up PowerShell. Then go into type start dedupe job 
dash volume e type is an optimization and we'll allow 70% of our memory to do it okay it has now queued the job if I then just do a get dash dedupe status oh god get dash dedupe status we can say that it's actually optimized six files and it has saved 2.29 gigabytes if I then just go back to our test PC just do a refresh with F5 we can see that we've gained some storage space back but each of the folders still has a file in it which is 500 meg each so success that's how data dedupe works see you guys